Hey, welcome back, Gundam fans. This is Gundam Topia, back for another Gundam model review. This is going to be the high grade 1 slash 144 skill MS 09 DOM, and it's from the Universal Century. Okay, let's do this. Alright, well this was uh, a fun model to do, um, it was finally broke my barrier from doing all the Zakus and everything and uh, now I did something different, the Dom, it was pretty fun, um, it is one of the purplest model out there, out of all of them, and uh, as you can see on the box you can make it into a dom or a brick dom and how to do that well there's different backpacks and rocket thrusters I left the rig dom extra stuff on there on the runners and of course uh, yeah, it's Rick Dom thrusters for his feet under his skirts. Then Rick Dom does have a giant. I don't know what that is. Bean bazooka, giant baz. That must be the giant baz. That must be the bazooka. The Dom gets the bazooka. Pretty simple. This moves. The scope doesn't go up and down. The little handle does. Um, I like how on some models the scope can go up and down. Yep. And it also comes with a beam saver or heat saver. It comes with five different kinds of hands. I got the high five on there. And the instruction book is a little bit bigger. It has some cool art. Okay. All right, the skirts are movable. Side skirts are movable. Arms, you can do 360. You know. Under here, it's red. I don't get that part. See movement in the arm it's kind of cool that's a long beam saber that's the longest one I've seen yeah, on this, you get the backpack. The one with the smaller thrusters is for the DOM. Then there's um, connections for the thrusters under its skirts. There's even connections under here. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. Where you can add additional thrusters on the back here. That's where the heat saver goes into. So it holds the heat saver.
see the only problem about the back skirt here it doesn't really you don't get that much movement can't bend it all the way and plus this is kind of big it's kind of poking out um, waist you got almost none movement here this is probably the most you can get the head you can't move the head it's kind of silly but can move this little piece on the bottom here yes there is a base action stand hook up and you also get a little black piece you can just put in that So it's very posable, leg posable, kind of medium. Um, the feet joints are crazy. So if you're planning on doing this model, I prefer it. It's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. Um, it kind of gets you out of that rut of doing, you know, zakus or, you know, whatever, or all the amphibian ones yeah so yeah it's pretty nice to get out of that rut and uh, let me move this dawn here and show you what's the next one it is the MS-14A Gilgu and it's exactly the same you can make it into a I think a Gilgud Cannon I think that's a Model C yeah it has to be a Model C but I'm gonna do the A so that's gonna be the next review so thank you for watching um, if there's anything else, just ask me about the model. Um, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. And I'll just keep on getting models. And yes, I am now airbrushing. So all the paint that's done to this was by airbrush. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Gunantopia, out.